welcome everybody. We're here today with Dr. Lescote, although I'm not saying it properly in the proper French language, but um, Lesquet. Dr. Lesquet. See? Lesquet. Thank I, I you. French. I know my French. So I will have Dr. Lesquet um, introduce himself and tell us what he's doing here and his role, what he's doing in Michigan in the United States and his role at the University of Michigan, uh, Michigan Medicine Scleroderma Program. Thanks a lot for the invitation. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Sherry, for inviting me. So my name is Dr. Alain Lesquet. I come from Rennes University in France, in Europe, and more specifically in Brittany, which is the region I come from. So I am a medical doctor and a PhD in uh, internal medicine and clinical immunology, which is uh, what you would call rheumatology in the US. And I am the head of the research scleroderma program and cohort in my hospital. We have more than 400 patients with systemic sclerosis in our uh, uh, department. So I was presented to Professor Kenna, thanks to European colleagues, to work on a project that is dedicated to limited scleroderma. So this is really the reason why I'm here. Limited scleroderma is the most frequent form of the disease. More than two thirds of the patients have limited scleroderma. So this is an important subject and we're working on that. Uh, and the title of the project is the CRYSTAL project. CRYSTAL stands for a Combined Response Index for Scleroderma Trial Assessing Limited Systemic Sclerosis. So, so yeah, so the <laughs> idea is to create a combined response index. So what is that? This is some kind of a score or evaluation scale to evaluate the efficacy of a treatment for the disease but for the disease as a whole. Because as you know, uh, scleroderma is a complex disorder uh, with a, a, a wide range of clinical manifestations that could uh, involve lung involvement, heart involvement, skin, digital ulcers, uh, G, uh, uh, gastrointestinal involvement, so a lot of uh, symptoms. But how can we evaluate the disease as a whole, including all these symptoms together? And this is the idea here, to create a scale, an evaluation score that would combine all of these symptoms together. And don't they already have one, Mary, for your kind of scleroderma? What's your kind called? Diffuse scleroderma. But yeah, there's a, there's a score. I, I don't want to get it confused with the skin score, but there is a scoring system, right? What's yeah, it that exactly. called? Yeah, exactly. So uh, uh, such a combined response index has already been created for the diffuse scleroderma, and it not notably include the skin score, but not only. It also include uh, uh, renal involvement, uh, kidney involvement, uh, uh, lung involvement, and different parameters of diffuse scleroderma. And this has been created by Professor Kenna and his team. So this is the reason why this is the best worldwide team to create such a tool, because it has already been involved in the creation of the diffuse, the index for diffuse cryoderma, which is called the CRIS index. It's not crystal, it's CRIS. Uh, and this is the idea here is to create a similar index, but for the limited uh, scleroderma, the limited form of the disease. Like me. So everyone out there with limited, that's what Dr. Lescote is doing with his colleagues here. And he says five years, five years we'll have it. So a oh, lot yeah. of stuff. <laughs> maybe, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll this, shut my mouth on that. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's the idea. Yeah, it, it takes time to do things properly, and we want to do things properly. That's for sure. So the idea, the first step here that we are doing here in Michigan is uh, to um, uh, have focus groups uh, to see which uh, symptoms are the most bothersome, but for the patient perspective. Because uh, if a patient has digital ulcers, but also lung involvement, how can we know which one are really important from the person perspective? The idea is not to create an index that uh, would make doctors to be happy about, but to make patients to be happy about, and to really reflect the patient experience and the way treatment would impact such an experience. So the idea is really to create a combined response in that that would reflect the patient perspective on the disease, on the way they experience the different symptoms and to select the most bothersome symptoms, but from the person perspective to include them in this index, in this evaluation scale of scleroderma, of limited scleroderma. The idea is really to have a 
combined response index that would uh, reflect the way patients feel, function, and survive with the disease. So that's the idea here, to have really uh, 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 the disease as a whole, but from the patient perspective, to be really based on the patients. That's what matters to us for that uh, combined response index.